Well, I got a couple things I want to show off tonight. One is this angle guide from Gretomatic. It's called the T1 system. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you may have seen something very similar to this that I got from a gentleman in Russia, Konisberg Sharpening. His device was called the crutch. As you can see, this clamps to your knife, and the idea is it provides you a consistent angle to sharpen on your stone. These do have a few shortcomings. Um, your stone thickness will make you have to adjust the height to get the correct angle. You can't go real low on certain knives. Knives with really small blade heights are difficult to sharpen. This device in particular has one fatal fall, one fatal flaw, I think, and it's right here in the clamping system. So on the top, you've only got two screws. Now with the Konisberg crutch system, you've got a third screw right here in the middle, which pivots and adjusts the clamp upward. So right here in the middle, this would go up. And what that allows you to do is when you're clamping a flat bevel knife, it will conform to that triangle shape of a flat bevel. This one doesn't have that feature, so when you put the clamp on a triangle shaped flat bevel, for example, instead of conforming like this, it goes out like this. Fatal design flaw. I contacted Constantine about this, asking him if I had uh, just not been sent the proper screw or whatever, but I looked online at the pictures of their website and I don't see any screws in the model that they have pictured there. You're going to have problems with flat bevel knives. So keep that in mind. This one, in my opinion, is not going to get high marks because of that. I'll leave that there. We're going to go ahead and test this guy out. Now I've got a new stone I also want to try out. And I used it a little bit earlier just to get a feel for it. This is a Sahiro SK G27, I believe it is. I'll have the actual name of it in the description. It is a combo stone. You got a 1K, 3K. Comes with this little base, which I've got, of course, in my stone holder. I'm going to go ahead and dull this edge. Now, I don't have my angle cube here. JT's Knife Life has it because he is evaluating the crutch system. So I had to use my iPhone angle finder, which is not very accurate. I mean, it gives you a ballpark, so that's really all I need with this guy. I don't need an exact measurement because this chef knife is basically just a experimental knife for me. We're going to go ahead and get started here. <clears throat> now, the idea behind these is you want to always keep the knife on the stone and the pivot here always on the, on the table. The issue I found with the crutch, crutch system is I constantly wanted to pick the knife up when going through the belly. And that's not what you want to do. You want to keep that on the flat of the surface. See right there, I want to pick it up. You want to keep that on the tabletop at all times. It does take a little getting used to, but it's nothing too difficult that even a beginning sharpener shouldn't be able to master. So as you can see, all you gotta do is keep the knife on the stone and keep this on the tabletop, and you can sharpen away. I've got this set at about 16 degrees. And this is a 1K stone. So as you can see, you can do scrubbing motions. You can do long sweeps. 
you got one particular area you need to concentrate in, you can just get right in there, pinpoint your grinding. And if you got a combo stone like this, you don't have to worry about adjusting your angle in here. You flip the stone over, it's going to be the same exact height as the stone you start on. So some thoughts about this stone. It reminds me very much of the Sahira Serax 1000 grit. It too is a blue stone just like this one. They both have a softness to them that if you're heavy handed or if your angle is incorrect, you will gouge the stone. For some new guys just starting out, because of that, you've got to be you got to be on your toes when using this stone. Otherwise, you can really not only damage the stone, but you can dull your edge by digging it in. It does develop a slurry, as you see, and it can get pretty thick if you don't add water to it. That slurry can help polish out deep scratches that are existing in the bevel. Uh, it can also help minimize burr because you've got that slurry matrix running across your bevel as you slide it down the stone and that's plowing directly into your edge. So if you've got a burr curled up as that slurry runs across it, it will help cut it or minimize it. Plenty of feedback. It's super affordable. I paid $27 for this on Amazon and you get two grits. You get 1K and 6K. So, or I'm sorry, 1K and 3K. So, for the price, it's outstanding. Just be aware, it is a soft stone and you're going to have to deal with what comes with that. Like I said, this is a combo stone. So, we've got the luxury of not having to alter the angle on the T1 system here because the stone is the same height as when we started. Now, if I were using another stone, say, I brought out my new Batama here. The stone thickness is different, so that's going to change the height of where the stone is on my, my base here. Changing the height will change the angle of this. So I would have to adjust these bolts up or down to compensate for that. Now this is the 3K side. Like the 1K, it's a pretty soft stone. If you're heavy handed or your angle is off, you can gouge this guy. So be aware of that. Now I'm doing a pretty poor job here <laughs> of demonstrating the T1, but once you get the rhythm of it, it's actually pretty easy to use. When using this system, I find it more comfortable to sharpen away from my body like this. When I'm freehand sharpening, when I don't have a guide on, this is actually my weak side. So if you have a weak side, using something like this may actually help you improve your sharpening technique. You gotta look at it like training wheels. It will help you develop muscle memory. And I just dug right into the stone. It'll help you develop muscle memory. And at the same time, it'll help you produce really, really nice edges. And these guided systems don't, they do not like heavy pressure. The weight of your hand is all you need. And actually I use less weight than that. Because if I start using my hand weight, I tend to tip it one way or another, and I run the risk of gouging my stone. I am going to strop the knife, but I want to show you, if you don't have a strop, all you've got is one stone, that device, you can come off that device with a very sharp edge. Now I'm using two micron CBN emulsion here. And 
and it should have increased sharpness, which it did. I'm just going to do a couple quick little cut tests here. 63. And 73. So as you can see, you can get very low numbers, or rather a very sharp edge, using this device. That's as sharp a kitchen knife as I'll ever need. So as you can see, once you hit it on the strop, it does brighten the polish. Which if you guys know me, I love a bright high luster. Some final thoughts on the Gridomatic T1 clamp. Well, it is currently priced at $61. That's a little expensive for what you're getting. I'm not going to tell you not to buy it. If this were about $20 cheaper, say it was $40, I would tell you you can overlook that little design issue. You can get by without that third screw and produce a very sharp edge. To demonstrate what I'm talking about, I'm going to use the Razor's Edge Systems Diagram. That third screw is what allows you to pry open the clamp and get that V-bevel shape. On a flat bevel knife, without that pivot point, when you clamp it down, the jaws open up in opposite directions like this. Now that's going to pose a problem for some flat bevel knives, but there are going to be some that you can work around. The ones you can work around, you're going to be able to produce a really nice, sharp, clean edge. My recommendation would be to hold off until Gridomatic revises this T1 system. They are constantly making improvements to their designs. I know their system that is designed like the Edge Pro has almost 10 different variations to it. They're constantly improving it, making it better. So I have no doubts that they'll take a look at this and improve upon it. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one.